Knowing that you could benefit from mental health help and getting it are two very different things. Yes, finding a therapist or a counselor can be a very tough mm -hmm. process. WBZ's Dr. Melika Marshall shows us how to start the search and what to look for in a doctor. Reem Abukader says she started seeing a counselor several years ago because she was struggling with depression and the symptoms were interfering with her life. It's helped me a lot because as I've gone through different counselors, I've sort of, I would say, graduated to more to techniques that apply more to my life. But finding a counselor can be challenging and overwhelming. Dr. Rachel Jacoby with Palo Alto University says a first step is to check online directories like Psychology Today, Shrinkspace, and the National Board of Certified Counselors. You could also contact your insurance company and see who's paneled with them. Um, and that would help with uh, payment options and payment accessibility. Patients should also understand the difference between therapy providers, such as a licensed clinical social worker, a licensed professional clinical counselor, a doctor of psychology, and others. And there are psychiatrists who prescribe medications and then also may um, offer more interpersonal sessions as well. And if you don't find the right fit in a counselor, keep looking. Once you start counseling, Dr. Jacoby says, set clear goals. For example, if you're dealing with anxiety. Your counselor will be able to help you identify goals within navigating your anxiety. And then not only that, they will be able to support you along the way as you work to reach your goal. Now I'm more trying to focus on enhanced self-regulation techniques that take into account the nervous system and just mindfulness. That's helping me now because I think it's a life skill. Reem is now pursuing a doctorate in health education, focusing on mental health so she can help others. Of course, it's important to ask about the cost of care before starting treatment. Some health insurances will cover a portion of the cost, but you really should ask whether your insurance will cover the provider that you actually pick. It's such, otherwise, it can be really expensive. Such an important story, too. We're blessed to have really good health insurance, and yet I've gone on there before looking to find a therapist or a counselor, mm -hmm. and either they're not accepting new patients or it takes forever to get get any type of response. It is a really difficult thing to do. It is, it is, but you have to be persistent yeah. and you have to check multiple avenues. Thank you, Dr. Malika Marshall. And as you can see, this is such an important, crucial topic tomorrow. Is Mental Health Action Day here on WBZ? All day long, we'll be looking at the mental health needs for all of us. And at 5.30, we'll bring you a 30-minute special exploring some of the tools and treatments available.